Yesterday we started the morning by a swarm of the earthquakes in the Reykjanes Peninsula where I predicted that the magma shifted toward the north and this happened to the north of this sort of volcanic system. We had the earthquake swarm, a peak and a fall. That was enough to shake enough the magma like a ketchup, it's a non neutronic fluid to be able to flow and erupt. And the result was a two kilometer long fissure opening up and magma oozing in the form of the lava. Although the weather was not good, but we could map the extent of it, as you can see here. And it is spread toward the north, as I predicted, and toward the cavities, hollows in the east. The fissure further extended to north also. And in the early hours of the morning, again, despite the rain and which has created some ferromagmatic eruptions, we had some clear views. These are the craters forming and they're getting bigger. We had lots of witches' hair. They exactly look like a human hair. These are the threads of the lava in the wind blown and become like a thread of a hair, as you can see. And they're scattered all, all over the place. You can see this here on a car bonnet. And this is also a simplified version of that map. The extent of the gas pollution toward the northwest then turns around and probably comes toward the north of the Europe, bringing the gas pollution, mostly sulfur dioxide, toward the northern latitude, including the United Kingdom and the Scandinavia.